Yet another song that I tried really hard to get away from copywriting. And welcome back everybody and Spectacular Spy fans and True Believers to Radioactive Replay Part 9. We are finally getting closer to the end of this game. And I hope that you enjoyed that intro that I did. And just for waiting so long, thank you guys. Your patience means the world to me. And without you guys, I would not be here today. But without further ado, let's get into it. So... Before we begin, now we are at the part where we gotta help out big old Tubby here, fight off some symbiotes, and make sure that he doesn't get any more weight from it. Ah, Spider-Man. How yeah? wonderful. Well, thanks. I can be nice if you can be nice. You true that? Man does not get where I am in life being nice. Or by wearing that same suit over and over again either. I don't think that's a good sign a for your daily weight week. and or dressing habits. Yeah, that too. Donuts are not good, In the interest pen. of personal gain, mm. I can easily ignore your childish jokes. <laughs> it's quite obvious I have you know that these jokes are, are fully trained in front of a mirror before game. I go and talk to you. A waistline like yours is quite an achievement. Then again, maybe not. Quite the hero, aren't you? Yeah, I'm not like frickin' Evil Cole from Infamous 2 or anything like that. The day by insulting me. Or Joker from all the Arkham games. Even after you came to me for help. Let's be clear, okay? We don't like you, but we have hey, to. Hey, I'm here because the Tinker has stopped cooperating. Yeah, for because I know, you no one remembers him it. being in the story of this game. For all I, think. I know, you and your black suit are part of this alien invasion. You want to throw down, tough guy? Let's throw down. You know what? Come here. You. Are you, not done out there. you wish that it was just the black suit and not just me being skilled as Spider-Man. All right, Tubby. Okay, well, let's let's keep talking. I'm Laurel, and you're Hardy. <laughs> I don't I don't get it. Another fat joke, and a hopelessly dated one at that. Poor O9 kids not understanding the reference. You got it, and that's all that matters. You know it because the audience playing the game might not though, but I suppose uh, at least your he gets it. Point of view. What? So what's the deal, We're a full-on adult. Why are you okay? all humanitarian? Go talk now. to Ultimate Peter Parker never about you child Spider-Man. Or Tom Holland. From it. But at least he's pretty dope. When this is said and done, who will the people remember as their savior? Eee! Opening line from the first cutscene. Me? No fool. Me. You Since jerk. Alright? We're not gonna take trash from you. Me standing tall against the coming apocalypse. Ah, apocalypse! Oh beacon of safety and hope in this with flashing place. neon lights and a giant disco ball man in New York. <laughs> well I am at the you wish your dreams are hopelessly city. outmatched by our bronze I don't believe and brains. that everybody knows you're a crime boss except for the rose who's your son which we're not gonna get into that for People now love a story of redemption boy Maybe I'll run for mayor. <laughs> Actually, that's Norman Osborn's job in Spider-Man PS4, but <laughs> for you, if you're a running candidate, you're so that might just be a little bit fun. Really, really full. Wow, he, um, going to owe he's me, hit a weight. And I always collect on my debts. I just hope he's not like Vincent D'Onofrio, where he's scary oh. buff instead of fat. He's actually scary, like, muscular in the Daredevil show, which I love. Oh, yeah. They're great. They're like Disneyland, but with infectious disease and goo. Destroy them. So maybe not. Well, I guess we just can't have nice things. <laughs> if you want, you can ask nicely. You are wasting precious time. Hey, I'm talking to you, okay? Calm All right, down. I'll go smash pods. You stay here and gain weight. Sounds like a great game plan. I wish we thought of that sooner. Oh, there you are. The perfect man for the job. What do you want, Kingy? Don't try to pretend they like me. It creeps me out. We were buds, and then you just had to be a jerk you about it. You misunderstand. My associates are under attack by creatures possessing electrical power. Oh! And I don't so, the creatures from Ben 10? Valuable. What, like me? I'm Spider-Man! You can't do that. You've been saving that one, haven't you? Get there quick. It's in his joke book of daily Spider-Man puns. Hideous things. Or insults. Okay, anything else? Wow. 30, 40 burgers to go? Yeah, from Burger Shack. Just like the good old MTV Spider-Man series in 2003 with Neil Patrick Harris when Kingpin was black? Yeah, that might not be a good one. I love how that mission starts. He's in the spider pose. And also riding on helicarriers is not only badass, it looks badass. Just this shot right here. Following hovercraft, we are on a hovercraft game. You put us there. You should surely know that you already did that job for us. And I love how the symbiote goes outward of his body depending on where you are. So, like, right now we're flying forward. 
so the symbiote goes backward. But if you're swinging also, it can do the same exact thing, like what you've seen me do when I swing on the poles. The symbiote kind of flies out like that, which I just love. And also, all this scenery of New York in burning flames, destruction, decrepit buildings, everything just in complete chaos. I love it so much. When I was a 10-year-old kid playing this game, I freaked out in the most craziest nerd way possible, just seeing S.H.I.E.L.D. for the first time, because again, even though Spider-Man Friend or Foe tried to introduce S.H.I.E.L.D., this was where I was fully introduced to S.H.I.E.L.D., what they are, who they are, what their purpose is, by taking out symbiotes in epic fashion. Now we gotta save Kingpin's goons, because... story? Yeah, probably story. Yoo-hoo! Ollie up! Nice try, guys. I mean... Your game plan was kind of okay, trying to take out Kingpin's guys just by yourselves. It was, it was alright, but did you really not think that I would come in and try and stop it? Hey, Felicia! What's going on? Want to team up? Hopefully not have you get um, date raped by Mysterio or anybody in the process, but we can figure that out. Yeah! -hoo -hoo! Woo! Yeah, you guys, um, come on. Okay, I didn't want to have to do this, but I gotta send out the big boys! yee And that did nothing. Well, good job, Symbiote, for also being completely awesome and useless at the same time. And nope, you are not gonna steal that civilian soul with the Symbiote goo. That's my job, if I was gonna be a bad guy. Ha, <laughs> you thought you could escape that tendril whip, son? You're nothing without your friends to help you. Good try, though. A for effort, F for actually trying to execute it with style. Because again, if you want to take out Spider-Man or any of his compatriots, you have to do it with finesse and style. Unlike what I just did right there, this Simeo is not going to get away. Okay, you know what? Guys, please. Electricity is not a good technique trying to take out Black Street Spider-Man. That would be fire and or sound to get that job done in the best way possible. If you want to actually succeed in doing it, try and get the guy who created you, Max, Dylan, also known as Jamie Foxx, to try and take that out in finesse. And hopefully have his character be explained and expanded upon the movie. Hi, Felicia! I don't know why you're trying to flirt with those goons, but let's talk with us instead, okay? Nice work knocking out these crazy things, but this isn't over. Well, we just got here, so maybe you not. more of these guys? Yeah! Spider-Man, what do you think? Okay. While you're at it, All right, I'll be a hero, I guess. Things at the source. Sounds like fun. You really don't seem like you're having a good time, Spider-Man. Luckily, we're here to fix that situation. And off we go! So now we're off to the fetch quest for getting 15 Electro Minion Symbiote guys, Electro Lings, which I love that name for them, and Electro Pods, which is awesome. So now, while we're doing that, let's talk about a couple things. So first, I want to shout out someone by the name of Chance Emerson. I believe that's the last name. I'm sorry if I said it wrong, dude, but basically... I did the Radioactive Replay intros for Web of Shadows Part 9 and Part 10, and in Part 9, he left such a thoughtful comment just saying on how my videos give him hope, and it brings his excitement levels up, and he's just waiting for the game, and his anticipation and hype grow each time I put out a video, and it makes the wait easier. That's the whole, hopefully the goal, that I've been trying to deliver to you guys as well. Anyone who's out there excited for Spider-Man PS4, I hope I'm doing you guys justice by keeping you guys consistently updated, as well as the rest of the Spy Squad doing an amazing job of doing that as well. But just know, we are here for you guys every step of the way. We want to try and make the wait just as much fun as it is for us to you as well, because we all care about the status of this game. We all want this game to be awesome, and waiting for it is just part of that battle, so just stick in there with us guys. Hang in there just a little bit longer. E3 is right around the corner. We can hold out for just a few more months. That guy sent me into oblivion with that one baseball hit. Holy crap. Um, but yeah, just have faith, guys. In Insomniac, we trust. I know we've said it a million times. I sound like a broken record at this point, but it is true. If you saw my recent video talking about how the Marvel Games Vice President, Jay Ong, said pretty much that Marvel Games 4 VR are confirmed... And he also expresses his high confidence in regards to Spider-Man PS4 being one of, to his, quote him, one of the best games on PlayStation 4. So when that comes out, that will definitely be the case. And I have all the faith in the world for Insomniac and Marvel to deliver that to us. And I know it's kind of hard because, you know, they haven't shown anything. They've been so quiet. The Spidey Squad have been doing Insomniac's job for them in regards to 
hyping the game up, marketing it, talking about it. But still, when the time comes, when they want to show it, they will blow all of our minds out of the water. So just hang in there, everybody. I know the wait has been a bummer, but we're so close to the end of the finish line, and it will be worth it. Now, to move on to other things, let's talk about good old Greg Miller going to North Carolina. So if you didn't see my other video that I did, which I will put the videos in the link in the description so you can watch it for yourselves, there was a tweet that Greg Miller put up a couple days ago saying that he is on a flight to North Carolina on a secret video game mission. That is his direct quotes. What it is, we don't know. We have absolutely no idea what his mission is. But he said that in his tweet that he needs some Marvel paperback copies to read during his flight. And also, he put a gif of the 60s Spider-Man cartoon in that tweet to just kind of insinuate on what he's talking about. And also, you might say, well, Insomniac Games isn't in North Carolina, they're in Burbank, like we know. Because if you don't know what you should know, Insomniac Games' office and Marvel Games' headquarter office are both in Burbank, California, 10 minutes away from each other. Literally 10 minutes away from each other. Which is why they're so collaborating, which is why we always see that Bill Roseman is going to meet up with Brian Itahar, and he's going to meet up for the status of Spider-Man PS4 and talk about some things. So that's why they were always tweeting all that stuff, is because they were right next to each other. So with Greg Miller going to North Carolina, what's the point? Well, if you guys don't know, Insomniac actually does have a North Carolina office, in Durham, North Carolina, Durham, I believe, whatever the way you pronounce it. But basically, Insomniac does have an office in North Carolina, and he's on a secret video game mission. And the fact that he has Marvel in his tweet and is also having a gif of Spider-Man in the tweet as well, again, further insinuates and heavily implies that Spider-Man PS4 is the game that he is going on a secret video game mission for. Does that mean we will get a behind-the-scenes type of thing from him? I don't know for sure, but the fact that, again, we've had nothing. Jason Latour keeps teasing Spider-Man PS4. There is another Marvel Flip Show tomorrow, so keep your eyes peeled for tomorrow, just in case if anything goes on in regards to the Marvel Flip Show. And please, guys, if there is anything, anything at all in regards to an update for Spider-Man PS4 from IGN or Greg Miller or anybody, Kind of Funny Games, because, you know, Greg Miller isn't a part of IGN anymore. He's part of Kind of Funny Games. That is his company name. Um, we just have to wait and see, but just hang in there. If there is nothing, whatever. But I really, if you guys know me, like I said in part two of Radioactive Replay, Greg Miller talked absolute trash about this game specifically for Spider-Man, and just his overall personality is that he's really cynical about video games. He always looks on the negatives. He rarely says anything good about any video game other than, I guess, JRPGs or maybe even uh, Skyrim or Dark Souls, games like that. But for Spider-Man, just, he just trashes them so hard, especially other superhero games like Batman. He just does not have a good outlook on these games at all. So, if that's the case, I'm going to get really kind of irritated. I'm sure you guys will too. But the fact that if he at least talks about the game, that might be a good sign. So, who knows? We'll see. Keep your eyes peeled. But for now, with all that out of the way, taking out all of Electro's numbnuts, goons, symbiote, Electrolings... We're now going to talk to good old Felicia and see what is up with her. What's going on, girl? You back already? Miss me? You know I did. While you're at it, you might want to try stopping these things at the source. You said that last time. Great. Don't these things ever take a break? Do you? I don't think so. Have we ever seen you go to the bathroom, Spider-Man? I really don't think so. And if any of you um, amazing Spice Squad fans and true believers are seeing why I do that, why I punch every time I stop talking to a person. It's because sometimes the game's audio glitches out just a bit, and it reduces the audio for punching and the, the sound effects for swinging, punching, talking, all that stuff. So I just double-check it to make sure that's running fine, and every time it does, if it doesn't, I have to talk to them again, and that just resets. But who knows? Right now, we're going to take out all of Electro's numbnuts goons and also destroy Max in the process. Because his boss fight as a symbiote electro is freaking awesome. Black screen is the best. Go check and see if the stories about the electro symbiotes are true. What the rumors? What type of rumor would go on that? Hey guys, did you hear about those creepy electro look-alike symbiotes in the city? Yeah, we um, we gotta deal with them real quick by pummeling them into the ground, or um, just just talking to them like normal people. Yahoo! 
Where do you think you're going? You're lucky I can't swing through these trees. Well, um, I can, but you know, like I say, I like to do it realistically and stylishly by swinging around New York City, so of course it doesn't make sense that Spider-Man would be going around swinging around the trees, so I'm just using the light post as a backup. Even though I did mess up there, but who knows, we're gonna chase after this guy. Why aren't you following? Come on, let's go. There you go. I love how Spider-Man's like, man, these rumors are really sketchy that there might be electro symbiotes in the city. It's like, didn't you just fight 15 of them and destroy five pods that spawned them, dude? Did you not forget about those in the, like, five minutes that you were just taking all of them out in the city? If so, that's, um, it's really not good. Massive monster spawning area, check. Creepy monster hybrid symbiotes with electro look like resemblances, check. Evil electro spawning pods, check. And the ability to switch normal symbiotes into electro symbiotes, triple check. And also, kaiju spawning monster station. Hmm, I never knew that was Max Dillon's true purpose as a symbiote, but now that we're here experiencing it, why don't we just go crash this delightful party? I just stood there and a car exploded. That's how awesome Spider Man is. Woohoo! Sorry, you guys are not going to be able to defeat me and or punch me while I'm trying to take out these pods, okay? Your Electro Blasts have no effect on someone who can use his feet and fists to destroy a symbiote alien life form, alright? Just makes sense. Oh my god! My spleen! Okay, well, let's try that again. It didn't work! Oh my god! Okay, my body's just destroyed. Okay, third time's a charm. Definitely worked that time. Of course. Obviously planned that with no repercussions whatsoever. Master seeks. Must obey. Use all the five-hour energy in your disposal so we can take over the New York. Well, if that's his plan, I'm not really for it. AT&T's electric bills are through the roof. They can't ever exceed our power. I love this music, though. Come, children. Feast at your god! Wow. Anticlimactic? Check. Hey, you know, we can talk about this, Max. You know, I can find your sister that might have died, but if that didn't work out, then, you know, let's just say, let's be friends, okay? Yeah, that's really cute what you tried to do just there, but, um, <laughs> not working out. Except if you have your minions cheating! Jerk. His voice is the best! Power over 9,000! More what? More words? Man, if you use sign language instead, Electro, maybe we can work this out. But if you need more words to tie in what your plan is, or just use your symbiotes as part of that plan, that's not really a good sign. Yes, hitting midair is the best way to defeat Electro, Spider-Man. Why are you hitting midair? That was not a good sign, dude. Okay, let's go after Max. Yeah, I mean, it's really cute that you actually thought that you could try and get away. Well, okay, I guess you did get away because the other symbiotes took your place, but, um, you can fix that, right? You just said that in a public area where people could hear you. That's really funny. Come on, guys. You didn't think I was going to make it so easy, even though it's on New Game Plus, this game. I wasn't going to destroy Max in the first two seconds of fighting him. There has to be some sort of a challenge. And when I saw that as 10 years old, I literally crapped my pants. Yeah, that's what villains do, Spider-Man. With style and also with uh, story plot purposes, of course. Yahoo! Hey, if you can't actually take out the threat, why don't you just try to do it with style? Yahoo! I mean, come on! Skateboarding on symbiotes while trying to take out an electro version of himself in a symbiote? While in the black suit, while fighting mini versions of himself, while trying to take out electric pods in a, in a symbiote apocalypse New York City? And people say Spider-Man 2 is the best Spider-Man game of all time? Get out of here. Evil plot. Good try. I mean, 
you know, I mean, I could have gone over the, the minions, but, uh, yeah, this is the big prize. Hey, Max! So, yeah, about you and Amazing Spider-Man 2 with, um, Andrew Garfield, that didn't work out that well, but, um, good to see that you're in your awesome costume again, which, again, by the way, favorite appearance of Electro that I've ever seen, ever. It's that freaking good. Yes, of course, we have used the Way of the Spider Dragon Ball Z Super Move! And he's totally fine. Or he's destroyed? Either way, we, uh, let's, let's try that again. You know what? I'm sick of this. Guys, why don't you just try to try and change your ways? I mean, we can try and have an alliance here. Symbiotes and humans are the same. Symbiote lives matter. Web lives matter. Radioactive Spider-Man lives matter. Just, um, just make sure that that doesn't actually get out to the public, okay? We don't want them knowing that our agenda is a bit switched. Okay, so I guess we killed Electro by not touching him. Makes sense to me. Well, you know, Spider-Man, I'm glad you could point out the obvious, but right now we're in a pretty dire situation. Hopscotch with symbiote pods. Not only do I love it, I love avoiding those losers who try to do that. Hit us. Yes, hit that air. That's right. The most epic way of traversal is just through the skies. And through enemies just trying to be menacing through nothing. Yahoo! Oh, Max! Incoming! Woo! And, um... Yeah, you, um... Really got killed there. Okay, um... You know what, we're gonna help him. Why not? We'll, we'll help Max. He doesn't deserve that. He was just trying to find his sister, poor guy. Fight those fanboys with all your soul! Oh my god, that hit right in my Electro. face. Max. Get away from me. You don't touch me, freak! Scott. My sister. Aww. And my 10-year-old mind had no idea what the heck he was talking about when I first played this game, but now, seeing how that girl who gave him the symbiote was actually his sister, and now she's dead, I think? That's kind of really sad. And of course, we have him to our roster, which is useless because we're a good guy. Hooray. Um, but yes, running up like Naruto in hyperspeed, of course, makes absolute sense, because why not? Let's, let's just take a moment here, guys, before we even end this video, because that is the end of Radioactive Replay Part 9, took out Electro, and now we're about to return to Black Cat. Let's just, just gaze upon awesome New York City, and just please, for me, guys, visualize this on the PS4 for Spider-Man PS4. Not a apocalyptic uh, New York City with symbiotes all over the place, but just a New York with this much depth, this much vast viewing. A giant shield hel helicarrier in the background, of course, and just being awesome in general. But, again, that is it for part 9, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for part 10. I'm going to try my best to upload at the same time, if not a couple hours later, of part 9. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Stay spectacular, Spider-Fans. Peace out.